Hey there everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Strix Outdoors. In this video I'm going to be cooking up some wild duck liver. I know and before you click that next button just hear me out. Now duck liver may not be for everyone but you should definitely give it a fair shot and I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Now for this quick and simple recipe we're going to keep it really basic but if you do want to step it up a notch and get a little fancy we're also going to continue on and do a pate after. And I'll do a side-by-side -side taste comparison between just the liver and the duck liver pate to give you my thoughts and insights and maybe what would work best for you. Now the ingredient list for this is going to be quite simple. I'm going to be using some butter in my cast iron skillet on the stovetop to cook the livers. I'll be seasoning that with some salt. This is going to be sea salt. You can use kosher or table salt for this. I'll also be using some minced garlic. I'm going to use some dry minced garlic for this recipe, but you can also use fresh if you want a stronger garlic flavor. And also some chopped onions. Now as we continue on to make the pate, I'll be using some Philadelphia cream cheese and jalapenos. Now we need to begin with doing a little bit of prep on the livers, but before we jump into that, the only thing I ask in return for these videos is for you to bullseye that like button. All right now, let's get cooking. All right, so our cast iron skillet is getting pretty good and hot. Now I did forget to mention we are gonna be using some cooking brandy as well, just to kind of fancy it up, but just a little bit. All right, first we're gonna throw in the onions and get these sauteed down to where they're uh, soft and translucent. All right, I don't know how well it comes through on the camera, but uh, the onions are browned up. They're looking really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic. Again, in this case, I'm using some dried minced garlic, but uh, you can also use fresh if you want a stronger garlic taste. All right, next we're gonna add the duck livers. You know, again, the secret to any wild game recipe is not to overcook things, so we're just gonna give them a quick sear on both sides. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of cooking brandy. Be careful if you're doing this on a gas oven. All right, that's looking pretty good there. That's all it takes, so we're gonna plate this real quick. All right, here I've got just a very, very simple food process. Pretty inexpensive off of Amazon. Links in the description below. I'm gonna toss in some jalapenos. I'm gonna put in the duck livers. I'll leave some of this to taste by itself. And we're gonna toss in some cream cheese. Now, the exact, the amounts of this, I can't really tell you because it's gonna depend on how much liver you're cooking. It's just trial and error to get the right consistency. All right, we're gonna put the top on and give this a quick uh, blend. All right, so that's looking about right to me. Depending on what consistency that you want, you can add more or less uh, cream cheese at a time to get the uh, preferred consistency, but I think this is ready to go. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with me. Now, the moment of truth, let's give them a taste. All right, now I've got some water crackers that I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna start with just this plain liver. That's pretty good. It definitely has a rich kind of earthy taste 
does taste a bit like liver, but it's very, very mild. Nothing compared to like a beef liver would normally taste. I can definitely taste the caramelized onions and garlic coming through as well. Those are, those are really nice to kind of round it out. It's not bad at all. Now I added just a little bit of salt to the pate. So let's give this pate a try. That's really good. You know, it tastes very similar to the heart and gizzard pate that I did before. The cream cheese and, and jalapeno really mellow everything out. So even though the duck liver itself is very, very mild, it's even more subdued in this. It's got a really great taste. I really like the jalapeno mixed into there. Definitely get the flavors of the caramelized onions and garlic too. Getting a little bit of just a hint of sweetness from the cooking brandy. That's really, really good. You know, between the two, I definitely prefer the pate, but the liver itself is really good. Like I said, very, very mild liver taste. It's really quite excellent. So with the pate, I do get just a hint of an aftertaste of liver, but it's again, very, very, very mild. It's really good. You know what, as hunters, part of our responsibility is to ethically take animals and also to utilize them as best as we can. And I know for many years, myself included, I've just thrown away the internal organs just because I didn't think there were gonna be something I could enjoy. But you know, finding these recipes, very quick and simple, it's actually fantastic. This is a very enjoyable meal and you can utilize more of the bird. I encourage you to give it a try. What do you have to lose? Well guys, that's about all I have for you in this video. Let me know how this goes. Give it a shot. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were, if you enjoyed it, if you were surprised, or if this is just not for you. I'd like to hear from everyone. As I mentioned before, my goal for this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, I would certainly enjoy if you subscribe to my channel and hit a like on this video. And I will see you in the next video.